There's a link above now about how to test car fuses without having to pull them out using a multimeter. Hello everybody, it's Lurgs here. Welcome to my channel and today the Mercedes S-Class, some of the features that you might not know about. Some of these features on the Mercedes S-Class are absolutely brilliant. Right, let's get cracking. Mercedes S-Class top tips number one. This is a handy tip for the sun visor. Now this works on the driver and passenger side. So you put the sun visor to the side because you've got the sun shining in your eyes. But what you can do is you can actually extend it a little bit further. It actually slides along on the rod. So literally you can slide backwards and forwards. Just gives you a bit of extra protection from any sun. This is what it looks like from the outside. And there's a link above now about the battery location and how to check the battery on your Mercedes S-Class. Number two, how to turn on and turn off the traffic announcements with one button. So what you do is with the stereo on and the ignition, just hold down the mute button on the steering wheel for three seconds. And then that turns the traffic updates on. Likewise, if you hold it down for three seconds again, it will turn it off. So let's just zoom in here, hold it for three seconds, on, hold it for three seconds, off. So if you want to stop this happening. Traffic update, the M25 anti-clockwise at junction 15 has a five mile tailback. Number three, open all the windows remotely. You're walking up to your Mercedes and it's a baking hot day. So before you arrive at the car, take out your key fob. And on your key fob remote, you're literally pressing the unlock button, but instead of just pressing it quickly, if you hold it down for two to three seconds, then the car will unlock and all four windows will open. Likewise, if you've just pulled up and parked and you're going off and all your windows are open, you can press the lock button, hold that for two to three seconds and the car will lock and all four windows will shut automatically. And there's a link above now about how to replace the battery in your Mercedes key fob remote. Number four. Closing all the windows from inside using one button. We're driving along and we've got all the windows open and we're just coming up to a tunnel and we want to quickly close all the windows to prevent the car getting full of fumes. Now this air recirculate button keeps the air within the car. But what you can do is if you hold it down for two to three seconds, it will literally close all the windows. And then once you've exited the tunnel, you can hold that button down again for another two to three seconds and it will open the windows back to the point at which they were set. Number five, you're coming up to a road junction or some traffic lights and you put your foot on the brake pedal and you don't want to have to hold it there and you don't want to put the handbrake on. So what you can do is with your foot on the brake pedal, just give it a small pump. And then that puts the hold feature on. Now that will hold the car until the moment that you then press the accelerator pedal and it will release it automatically. And then you can just drive off. I use that feature all the time. It's really, really handy. I'm pressing the accelerator pedal now and the hold feature is released and off we go. Number six, this is the handy boot clip. So lift this lever up here, lift this lid, and on the back of the S-Class, you've got this hook. And what you do is you just unplug that hook and then that literally just clips over the chassis just below the rear window. And that keeps that up in the air so then that gives you access to all the tools underneath that lid. And I believe this is a feature on most Mercedes models and here is the Mercedes C-Class and this boot clip is slightly different but it still has the same effect. And there's a link above now about how to adjust the steering wheel on your Mercedes S-Class. Number seven. This is opening the bonnet or the hood but making it go absolutely vertical. So normally you open the bonnet and it normally goes up to about a 45 degree angle. But if you want better access to things in the engine or you're maybe taking the engine out, it can actually go vertical. Now I won't go into the exact detail of how you do this in this short video, but there's a link above now about how to raise the bonnet vertically. 
Number eight, the fuel filler cap holder. Letting your fuel filler cap dangle on the chassis is not good for the paintwork, especially if you've got a diesel. So the best thing to do is put it in the fuel filler cap holder. Number nine. Now this very handy tip is not specific to the Mercedes. It should be the same on all modern vehicles. And it's really, really useful, especially if you drive lots of different cars. So on the dashboard where the fuel filler pump icon is, there's a small arrow. And this indicates what side of the car your fuel filler cap is on. So on this model, it's on the right hand side. Tip number 10. How to turn on and off the air conditioning very easily. Now you might think as I did that to turn the air conditioning on or off, you have to go into the menu system, select the temperature system on the dashboard on the screen, and then select the air conditioning icon in the bottom right hand corner using the dial, and then put the tick in it if you want it on, and then select it again if you want it off. But actually you don't need to do any of that. There's a far simpler way of turning it on and off. So at the moment the air conditioning is off and I want to turn it on, you literally just press this air conditioning rest button. When the LED light is lit, the air conditioning is now on. If you want to turn it off, you just press the button again and when the light is out, the air conditioning is off. And it's that simple. After all those handy tips on the Mercedes S-Class, it's time for a lovely cup of tea. If you would like more how-to videos, then please press the subscribe button down here. I really do appreciate you visiting my channel, everyone. And please press the bell notification tab for more how-to videos and how to save time and money.